Welcome back to my darkroom. Today we're going to be scanning some tungsten balanced color film and I wanted to see if we need to use an 85 filter when we shoot or if scanning will take care of the color balance for us. When Flick Film sent me a bunch of the re-rolled Kodak films, some of it was 500T of the Vision 3 film. I shot a little bit of it. You saw that in the video about their C41 and ECN2 kit, but I had the rest of the roll to use up. And uh, after that video, I got an email saying that if you use an 85 filter when shooting, then it'll mess up your colors when you scan them with your DSLR. Um, I come from a printing background, so as you all know, I like to print. So of course using an 85 filter is pretty much necessary to get the colors right on tungsten balanced film. Otherwise everything's way too blue. So for me it's very natural just to use a tungsten, uh, an 85 filter for tungsten film. But we're going to look and see if the uh, filter is necessary when you scan it or if it does give you weird color uh, crossover uh, through that whole process. So we're going to take that roll, we're going to load it up in my camera, and we're going to go out and shoot. And I'm going to shoot everything twice, once with the filter and once without. We're going to shoot a color chart too just to see if uh, we get some weird color stuff there. So uh, once we do that, we'll come back and we'll develop the film. I want to develop it in C41, not the ECN2, uh, though I am going to have to remove the Remjet from this particular roll. Once we do that, we'll scan everything and uh, see how things turn out. So see you back in just a few minutes after we shoot it, and we'll develop it, and then move on to the next step. my results. Now I will say I only imported the images. I converted them with Negative Lab Pro and I used just the same Kodak film profile on all of them. I did not do any other manipulation. So these are just the bare bones getting them over to the digital side. So there's a lot more that you can do with it. 
uh, from my perspective, and your opinion may differ, the 85 filter gave a better base image to work from. I think both images are fine. You can definitely get a final image either way. Uh, since I'm more likely to print my work than I am to scan it, then I would probably go ahead and just filter the image in camera, and that way I can either print it correctly right out of the box or scan it and get a great image. Now, one of the things that was uh, messaged to me was that when you use an 85 filter on the tungsten film, it, should you push the saturation, then you start to get really funky stuff happening. That's kind of what I wanted to see. So I have a couple of examples where I pushed those with the color chart. I can see that the saturation with the 85 filter looks fairly good, whereas the tungsten filter looked really, really blue. Same with just one of the images. The tungsten made everything go really blue when the saturation was cranked all the way up, which isn't realistic. I'm not going to crank the saturation up for any image, but just to see what happened. Uh, and the 85 filter on one of the actual images was blech, but better blech than the tungsten by itself. So your methods may vary. Your needs may vary. For me, I feel like the 85 filter is going to give me just a better color rendition for either method. So get out there and make some photographs. Use a filter. Don't use a filter. Make the images that you want, and I'll make the images that I want. And we'll see you next time.